And good evening. I'm Stacy Scheibel. Tonight, a frantic search for the baby at the center of an Amber Alert. A newborn baby, just a week old. Police say that baby was taken by his father from Miami. This is a picture of that little baby. He is little Andrew Caballero. Late this afternoon, the boy's father, Ernesto Caballero, was found dead in Pasco County off Jessamine Road in Blanton. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson joins us now live. And you have the very latest. The, the sun has set, and that's going to make this search even more difficult, Jeff. That's exactly right, Stacy. It will make the search a lot more difficult. This, of course, began down in Miami in the Dade County area when authorities down there found three women who had been murdered. They then sent out an Amber Alert for b the baby, um, Andrew Caballero, looking for his father, Ernesto Caballero, who they believe had driven off with his son. That search then led up here this afternoon, and right now there is an active search going on for the baby. Uh, we did see volunteers and Pasco County Sheriff's deputies shoulder to shoulder out searching through a field. They have ATVs, they have trucks, they have canines who are up here searching the area. The search led uh, the Pasco County authorities here when a witness saw a suspicious van in a remote area of the county, in a rural area of the county, called the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. A sergeant from the Sheriff's Office showed up, did not find anyone in the van, but then did call in for canine backup, and the dog soon led authorities to the body of Ernesto Caballero. However, the body of uh, our Andrew, or rather Andrew Caballero, has not been seen. But that means a couple of things. Either uh, Andrew has been left with other friends or family somewhere between here and Miami, or could still be in the area. Interestingly, Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako says a witness saw a woman in the same van. But the one individual told us that he saw a blonde woman sitting in the truck. And I sit here and pray to God that that is true and that she has the baby. Uh, Pasco County authorities and volunteers, as I said, are now actively searching this area, uh, trying to look for the baby or any clues. They're not sure why Ernesto Caballero would come here because they do not know at this time if he has any friends or family or any contacts up in this area. The Pasco Sheriff Chris Nako told me that it may just be that this is a rural area. He pulled off of the interstate uh, and came to this area and went to back roads. There are dirt roads around here. There's farmland around here. It's a wide area for Pasco County authorities to search. Sadly, this does remind me of 1993 when Jennifer Odom was abducted from her home uh, not too far from here, and then her body was found uh, just a few miles from where, where I'm standing now, also in a remote area. At that time, hundreds of volunteers showed up to search. I'm sure there will be a much larger, larger search tomorrow. Stacy. Right, Jeff Patterson joining us live right now, and Victoria Price is going to continue our team coverage. Uh, Victoria, one of the things I heard authorities say that interested me is there was no car seat in the van. Yes, Stacy. So that's one of the huge unknown variables right now. No one knows where this child is, which is why there is such a frantic search happening right now. And the Pasco County Sheriff's Office tells me, I just checked in with them, and they tell me that this search that's happening behind me that you can see right now, this will continue for the foreseeable future either until they find that baby either in this area down in Miami-Dade County. This, they have no plans to call this off right now, even though night has fallen and the search has become considerably more difficult. I do have some drone video from you from earlier this evening when it was a bit more light, showing the search crews setting off. They're searching on foot, on ATV, on horseback, and with tracking dogs. They are starting from the point where deputies found that abandoned van that they believe was driven by Ernesto Caballero, the baby's father, earlier uh, to Today, when they found that van out here on Jessamine Road, uh, and they're branching out from there. You can also see that that van is surrounded by law enforcement, and then there is that wooded area, which is where the Pasco County Sheriff's Office tells us that they found Ernesto Caballero's body earlier today. Again, still no sign of his weak old son, Andrew, who was the subject of that Amber Alert. But now, in addition to law enforcement, we have neighbors, people who live in the area, coming out with their ATVs, trying to assist in the search in any way that they can. We saw the we saw the Amber Alert this morning uh, on our way back from Tampa, and we started looking for vehicles, just you know, and then we saw the helicopters and and looked on the news and found out that they had found.
the man and was looking for the baby. And we have property, quite a bit of property over here, so we wanted to check it out. And Jeff mentioned this earlier. This is an incredibly isolated area, so not only is it dark, but there's just there's not much out here at all. And that's part of the reason they're using off-terrain vehicles and things like that to try to see if there is any sign of Andrew Caviero in this area. I will point out that some of the neighbors, the people who have come down to assist with this, earlier before night fell, they were hoping that they saw a good omen in the sky. There was a beautiful rainbow, and I know a lot of these neighbors are holding on to hope that that rainbow is a good sign that this child will be found safe at some point in the near future. Reporting live in past. Go County tonight. Victoria Price, eight on your side. We certainly hope that is the case, and we will continue to post new information as soon as we get it on air and on our WFLA app.